Hi you guys, hope you all are having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and all the links will be down below. So, I just recorded my uh, brush, basically like my everyday brush routine. I did my face brushes. I had so many that video is kind of long. I'm not someone who likes to sit there for long videos, but I, I had quite a few of them. So, I don't know how I'm going to And I'm going to do the eye brushes in this video, and I do not have as many eye brushes as I do face brushes. I am someone who likes foundation over eyeshadow any day, yet I have way more eyeshadows than I do foundations. I barely even have foundations because every single one I try doesn't seem to work for me. But I'm still, you know, looking for that miracle face. But I'm going to talk to you about the eyeshadow and eyeliner brushes, so let's get right into it. So basically, again, I showed you I had these little compartments. I have six of them, and uh, three of them are for face brushes. One compartment is powder brush, one um, compartment is concealer brushes, and the third compartment is for foundations. But the fourth compartment are um, actually face brushes, but they're ones I don't tend to use, but I included it in that. So these last two sections are just basically eye brushes, and I separated it for eyeshadow and then regular eye brushes. So something I use for my eyebrows, mascara wands, um, eyeliner. So I'm basically going to show you, I'm grabbing them right now, what I use for each one. Okay, basically, these are them. I'm going to just go in order as I see fits. These two are actually my Morphe brush ones, and these are both the eyeliner brushes. This is the M250, uh, and this is the M217. This is an angled eyeliner. This is just a regular small eyeliner. This, I feel like, is kind of spread out, so it's kind of harder to get a thin line. But this is what I love for when I use colored lines. Anytime I need um, a really, really, diff like, I don't know how to say it, but like, a really, really angled cat eye, this is definitely my go-to one. Um, and then anything else, any colored eyeliner I wear, you tend to make a thicker line so you can get colored eyeliner and then a black eyeliner, so like a double wing. This is my brush because I can get it precise and thick at the same time. So it allows me to have two wings on my eyelid and I absolutely love that brush. I did, again, have to trim it a little bit because there was a couple hairs that were stuck in the packaging. But again, I still love it. This, These next brushes are a bunch of angled brushes. I have way too many and I'm grabbing them now because, again, this is basically what makes up this compartment. I have a small little eyeliner brush that I had gotten in set and it actually works pretty well for the eyebrows. So if I'm traveling, like maybe for one day or something like that, I just bring this little eyeliner brush. Wish I could tell you where I got it from, but I have no clue. But my basically, uh, my everyday eyeliner brush for a while was my angled liner brush I got in my sable hair set that you saw on the last video, um, or the previous video, because I should be uploading that video before this one. Hopefully, we'll see. But this is when I want a thicker eyebrow because the angle, again, is not as thin. It's still pretty thin and small, but not to get that really, really sharp line. Um, then from the other, the same set, I got the angle brow brush, which I used to use, but my brows were getting a little too thick. So I haven't really used it as much. Um, it's basically something I go back and forth to, whatever my brow mood is. The brush I'm currently using now, I actually got for my birthday in this little set. I don't know where the set was from, but it, it the way it's like curved is so interesting that I, I don't know, I've been using it for my brows, and this is my favorite brush for my brows. I want to say it's like a, this one of these Forever 21 kit that I got from one of my friends that, it's, I mean, makeup brushes from Forever 21 you wouldn't think are the best, but I actually really, really like this brush. I was quite surprised. So this is what I've been using for my brows. Then this one I use is an angled brush from Real Techniques, but it's thick, so it's not really good for eyeliner or your eyebrows. But let me tell you, if you want to make eyeliner with eyeshadow, just like you want that line, but you want to use eyeshadow so it's softer, maybe you just want gold eyeshadow as your eyeliner, this is perfect. You dip it in, and you literally just stamp it on. Now you have like this gold eyeshadow gradient eyeliner thing, perfect. And it's really, really easy to use. Um, it's called the Brow Brush, again, by Real Techniques. I got that in that little eye set. And it's really good at getting and smoking out the bottom lash line. Um, now, for eyeliner purposes, this is my go-to eyeliner brush. I want a smaller one just because I am a thinner rather than thicker type of eyeliner girl. This is a silicone liner brush. Um, from Real Techniques, I got this separately. I love it. And again, it washes easily and the hairs don't get frayed because it's silicone. Then the last two brushes, this is my mixing brush. It's an angled brush, but I actually mix my Inglot Duraline when I want to make my eyeshadows into like cream liquid eyeliners. This is from NYX Cosmetics. I've had it for a while now. Makeup Artist Brush. This is my mixing brush. And then this last brush over here, I used to use to comb out my eye, um, 
my eyeshadow. I used to comb out my eyebrows with it, but now I actually just use this to clean my other brushes. Um, I don't know, it's not like very small enough to actually get all my hairs. And it comes with an angled brush on the other end, and I got this from Mary Kay. The last two brushes for this set, this one is an eyeliner brush that I got from um, the Sable Hair Set brush. Another colored eyeliner one. I actually use this with my Morphe Cream Eyeliner, and I've been unable to get that out of this brush, no matter how hard I wash it or what I wash it with. So this is kind of just flowing around until I can actually get something to get that cream eyeliner off that brush. And then this is the last brush, and this is my mascara brush. And I don't use it in mascara, I use it to separate my eyelashes. Um, so that's my favorite thing. I don't actually use this for my eyebrows. I have a spoolie that I use that comes with my brow product, my NYX uh, brow product. So I use this to separate my eyelashes, and I love it. Because it's not like very hard like the metal one is but it works like a charm too. Okay, and this last section, they are my eyeshadow brushes. I have, these are the ones that I basically again use. I have other brushes than what I've showed you here, but those are the ones I rarely reach for, so I don't think I should feature something that either I'm not a big fan of or I just don't tend to use. So if you wanna see that in a different video, just let me know, but let's start with these. Um, first of all, I'm gonna go with these this Clinique brush. It's the only brush I have by Clinique. And this I use if I really, really want a soft, smoked out bottom lash line. It's like a small little um, angled brush. Then the next brush that I use, these brushes, I'm going to actually just group them okay, together. Okay, so these brushes, I have a big um, deluxe shadow brush. If I need to pack on a lot of color and a lot of color fast, this is my brush and it's humongous. So it's not something that you can use just on the lids. It's just like a lot of product and it's, again, it's big. So if you need to get a lot of like black eye, uh, eyeshadow on your eyelid fast, this is the brush that in my Sable Hair Collection. Um, then these brushes right here, I tend to blend with. Um, this is a eye definer brush. I don't really touch these Mary Kay brushes as much because they're not as soft as these brushes, but if I'm on the go and I just when I'm grabbing it, I just grab this and apply my eyeshadow with it. Um, then I have this one right here, which I blend a lot, which is my blending fluff brush. It's very, it's not like um, the E40 or anything from Sigma, but this works very well at blending, especially in the outer corner because it is so small. And then when I want to blend something in my crease, I like to use this because it's more angled and it's really good at blending my crease shade. Um, you can also apply it. It does both. So it's like you're applying and blending at the same time. I love it. It's called my Chisel Blender. And then this last brush over here is my Chisel Fluff, which I use if I want to like do almost like this ombre. So I'm not packing color into the corner and blending it. I'm kind of blending everything together. This is the brush that I'll use. Um, and then these last couple of brushes, this is my favorite pencil brush ever. I cannot recommend I cannot recommend this anymore. This is my crease this brush. This crease brush is not like a regular, for example, like not a regular like fluffy hair brush. It's, I don't know what, it's kind of like a silicone, but it's not, I, I don't know. This puts stuff in the outer corner better than I've ever seen any brush, better than Morphe Sigma. This brush is perfect for packing that color in the inner corner without it being too wide or anything. This is my go-to brush when I want to do any smoky look. I love it. And it came in my Sable Hair Brush set, and if I could buy like a billion of these, because I'm scared when I run out, I don't want to have to buy the set, I would. This brush is amazing. And then these last couple brushes, this is a crease brush from uh, Mary Kay. Don't tend to really use it again, but I have it just in case none of the other eyeshadow brushes are clean. Then this was from the set of Forever 21. It came with more brushes, but I don't tend to use those as much. This I like to use in my e.l.f. Um, paint pots. No, not paint pots. That's MAC. Uh, my e.l.f., wh whatever those little things are, I can't think of the name. I'll insert it in here, hopefully, if I remember to do that. Um, and this is like the perfect small brush that I can just pack on the cream eyeshadow. It works well with the Maybelline color tattoos, Anastasia cream colors. Perfect size for it, and it packs on the product. This last brush is my favorite eyeshadow brush of all time. And this is my Real Techniques base shadow brush. It blends, packs on color, um, it just applies the color evenly. It just it gives minimal fallout, and all you have to do is wipe it off, and the other color just stays on there. It doesn't mix. It's my favorite one. I got it in the eye set, like with the silicone brush, and with this brush, and all this, and it was amazing. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush, and I feel like it does everything well, that I don't need to spend that extra money buying this brush, this brush, and that brush. So that completes it for my everyday eyeshadow and uh, eyeliner brushes, and 
It actually completes it for my all everyday brushes. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you guys all have a great day.